All right, let's see if we can get some beans in. Um, we supposedly have a thunderstorm that's supposed to roll through about eight o'clock. I got bearings for dad to fix the column altar, but he doesn't think he's gonna be able to get any beans rolled, so that sucks. But at this point, just need to get done what we can get done, I guess. Oh, I mean, we could use, if it'd drop us a nice quarter inch, not super hard, that would be enough to get the stuff that's in the ground going good. And, um, get this thing warming up. It, that would get the stuff that's in the ground going good and it wouldn't really undo any of the drying that we've had the last few days. So I will take a quarter inch. to be the guy that says I want it to miss us completely because the way things have been going in two weeks we could be in a drought so is my stick still over here no oh right there So anyhow, let me, uh, we got to get the stuff backed out here. Got enough to get to mom and dad's and I can fill it up over there. But I got to get that out, refill the drill, and then we can head out. been kind of nice I uh, I've been planting at 150,000 and this year I decided to drop it down to 140 because shoot my boss only plants at 120 125 on 16 or on 15 inch rows and he still gets 50 bushel bet or better beans so I was like shoot why am I spending money if I can do the same thing so I wasn't willing to go down that far, but I, I dropped another 10,000. And at 140,000, this thing holds enough, or holds enough units of beans to plant about 10 acres on a fill, which is pretty nice. But starting out a new field, still better to start off with a full hopper.
go check on dad make sure he didn't need help probably can't see it on camera but it's raining right there i think it's going north of us but there's thunder coming from the dark spot so no way i need like another 45 minutes cutting it a little closer than I wanted to but it's done those last three rounds or not even three rounds this last three passes were I mean it was still kicking up a little bit of dust right up till the very end so and it wasn't balling up on the coulter so it should be fine but it gives a whole, whole new definition to planting right into moisture but uh, as I'm talking to you now I've already had to have have mom rush me home because i had the bean wagon sitting outside and at that point i was soaked clear through to my underwear so once i got the bean wagon put away i had to go in and change my clothes and in the meantime dad had to move the trailer so that he could get this inside because the drill wouldn't go through the door with the the trailer parked where it was so it was a little bit of a fiasco he probably got about an acre and a half rolled before it started raining so was interesting that was for sure but it it seemed like a lot more water than we actually got um i checked my rain gauge before i came back here to get the dogs and uh i was only at about a quarter inch and as you can see by the skyline, it's almost over. It was not a very, it was literally right along a front and we would dropped from the mid eighties down to about 65 in the span of as fast as you could blink was the reason this rain showed up, but it was just a little skinny, not very deep. So if we get another 10th out of it, by the time it's done, that'll probably be about it. So it's unfortunate in a way because the wet spots were just getting dry enough you could think about working them but on the other hand it's good to have some rain to get the stuff that's already in the ground going because i'd rather have it out of the ground than having it in a drought so double-edged sword but you got to take the good with the bad and at this point i'll take the good so anyhow i guess with that being said I didn't even get a chance to take a thumbnail for this video, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that because it started raining before I got a chance. So, anyhow, I guess. That's it for this one. We'll catch you guys on the next one.